What's up guys, Quezzy here, bring you guys another tutorial. This one is part two of my Illustrator series, which is Logos in Illustrator. And this is what I promised you on the first video, which was back in January, which is how to color, illustrate your logo, um, sort of like this. Uh, now this logo's kind of poorly pen tooled or whatever, so it kind of looks sketchy like right there. And here, and like around the sides, the E looks pretty good, but like the round part looks kind of weird. But this is basically what I'm going to be showing you. And this is uh, Emperor uh, Artistry's logo, uh, which is a team I manage. They're a really sick, underrated design team. So if you guys are looking to join a design team or uh, just looking to follow one and watch their content, be sure to check them out. Their Twitter and YouTube will be in the description. Uh, they're a pretty awesome team. And yeah, so let's get right into the t into the tutorial. So basically, you want to open up your AI file of your logo. So uh, here's the Emperor one, and I'm just going to select the whole thing. And then go over here and double click to select a color. And I'm going to go with a blue. Um, you don't want to go for like a full uh, saturated blue. You kind of want to go in like the middle. So like there. That's what I'm going to roll with. And then I'm going to go down here. And I'm going to drag the layer onto a new layer so it duplicates. And I'm going to do that again. And then I'm going to put the copies below layer 1. And then layer 1, I'm going to double click and name main. And the one below that, I'm going to name uh, uh, outline. And the bottom one, I'm going to name back. Alright, that's just so we're organized. And then I'm going to go to the main one, duplicate that again. And this is going to just be named useful because um, we're going to need that later. And I'm going to put the lock on that and then uh, hide it by clicking the eyeball. And then what I'm going to do is lock the main layer and go to this circle by the outline. Click that. Now everything should be selected. And then I'm going to go over here and switch the main color with the stroke. So it now should be a stroke and not a fill. Uh, you won't be able to notice that, but it will show up. Then you want to duplicate, or you want to double click on the color and just make it a little, uh, a little brighter. Sorry, I had some in my throat there. Um, so like that. And then we're going to go up to about 10, maybe 20. Yeah, 20 works. I'm going to duplicate it again and go even brighter. So like that. So that's like the outline. And then we want to put the lock on that one and go to the back layer. Click the little circle so it selects everything. Uh, we're going to do the same thing. Switch the colors. Double, cl double click on them. And now we want to go with a darker color. So I'm going to go pretty dark. So like a really dark navy blue. Click OK. And go to the stroke. And go to about 40 like that there we go and now I'm gonna make a new layer because I don't like the gaps in between I think that looks uh, pretty dumb so I'm gonna go to the shape tool it should be a rectangle right now I wanna go to ellipse and I'm gonna go back over here and switch the stroke with the uh, color again uh, and then I'm just gonna make a circle and make it be right in the middle there. So there we go. Now I filled up all the gaps and stuff. And uh, you can put a gradient on, on this, which is what I did here. You can see it's like a little lighter in the middle, uh, like behind the logo. But uh, to do that, you just want to go to the current color and you want to go to your swatches and make a new swatch and click OK and that color that you have selected there should pop up then you want to go over here and you want to make sure you have the layer selected and you want to go to the gradient and then you want to drag the swatch down like there and I'm going to put this on radial and then I'm going to go to the white and I'm actually going to make it the same color swatch I'm going to double click on it and make it a bit brighter like that there we go. So that's the basic outlining and everything. It looks really good in Illustrator. And I repen tooled this logo, so it kind of looks a little better now. Uh, but now we're going to go with the uh, 
the little glares or whatever, the highlights of the logo. And now, uh, this is when you're going to use the useful layer. So I'm just going to lock these layers, go to the very top, make a new layer. And you want to go to your pen tool, which is next to the text tool right there. And it should be the top one. If you have any of these, make sure you go to the first one. And I'm going to go back to solid color, so click to the left there uh, on your color. And I'm just going to go with like a silvery color now. And we can change this layer uh, later. Uh, I'm going to zoom in a little bit. And now you just want to select your highlights. So I like to imagine that the light is at a certain point. So for this, you can see, I imagine that the light was coming from here. So all the glares are at the top of the logo. So I think I'm going to do that again. I'm just going to imagine the light's coming from the top. So I'm going to highlight everything at the top. So basically, I'm just going to click and kind of follow this. Okay. Alright, and once you get it, you just want to go around and make sure you fill in where you want it to be highlighted. So it's going to be highlighted there. And then we're just going to let that go for now. We'll fix everything later in a really simple manner. So I'm just going to go through this and uh, highlight all these and I'll come back when I'm done. Alright, so you can see I highlighted all like, everywhere I wanted highlights. And you can see that it just like sticks out now. It's, it's not actually like on the part of the logo I want. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to this useful layer and we're going to open that up by clicking that arrow. Uh, uncheck the lock and I'm just going to select everything in that layer and I'm going to bring it up to the layer 6 which is the layer that the highlights are on and oh shoot and I gotta click the you gotta click the eyeball so it works and then you can just delete that and then uh, we're gonna do this pretty cool method that I figured out um, so I'm just gonna select the highlighted layer I want and actually I screwed this up uh, make sure all the layers from the useful layer are behind the highlight the highlights you made so like that there we go now this should work so you just want to select your highlight and you want to select the part of the logo that it's on so you can see I selected this part of the logo and the highlight that goes with it and then I'm gonna go here to the pathfinder you can go to window pathfinder I believe yeah right there uh, if you don't have this window and you want to go to shape modes and go to the third one which is intersect and you click that and you can see it'll make it uh, so the highlight is only on that part of the logo and we just want it on the dark part of the logo so like this you just keep doing that for all of these and it's really simple really fast um, I know Sesso made a tutorial on this sort of thing and I don't know what method he did um, maybe it was the same thing. I don't think it was the same thing. I think he has his own method. Uh, but this is how I do it. Um, it's nice and quick. Um, and you can always, if you mess up, go back and fix it and everything. But, uh, there we go. So we got our highlights. And now we want to change the color. So you want to go over to that layer and click the circle, select everything, go to the color. And we want to just pick... Uh, a similar color to it um, like we did like the strokes and the backing was all like the same kind of color just darker and lighter so we just want to go with like a really bright blue like that so yeah there we go there's the illustrated logo uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial if you want more illustrator tutorials let me know uh, I don't know if there'll be any more in this illustrator logo series uh, possibly if I play around with some stuff uh, maybe another tutorial on how to make different types of logos. Uh, but yeah, if you guys missed the first part, the link is in the description. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to check Emperor out. And uh, if you guys want to see Sesso's tutorial, that will also be in the description. So, uh, talk to you guys later. Peace.